What's up, everybody? Um, been ordering these figgies. We got six here since the start of the year. Finally, they've arrived, and um, let's get right into it. Without further ado, let's uh, let's get these boys out of here. Uh, I don't want to review them yet, but you can probably tell one of these. Uh, I, I guess I can just show you guys. Commander Cody. We got the um, re-release looking very nice um, it is a clamshell so I'm going to be opening that very carefully because I do like to put my feet back in the box all right and then I guess first we got a little bit of hunter looking very nice crosshair shout out our uh, bad batch review I like them because their their artwork lines up then we got Cad Bane very nice looking figure can't wait to get him out of the box um, two older figures, Commander Wolf, of course, you know, I'm a Plobro, got to have the main Plobro himself, um, finally came in, very excited, and we got Count Dooku, very cool, goes very nice with uh, Cad Bane, and of course, as mentioned, Commander Cody, if he'll stay up, so yeah, nice little haul, um, I guess we'll just get them done left to right, alright, first up, Cad Bane, the main man himself. Um, excellent artwork here. Yeah, just looking at the box real quick. Um, I am going to take him out. Yeah, Cad Bane, I'm going to do it very carefully. I do like to put my figgies back. Um, got my handy dandy produce opening knife. It's usually not that hard with the, uh, the newer boxes. The older boxes, it's even easier. Yeah, I don't like to damage it as much as I can. I do open all of them. Um, the Cody clamshell is going to be a problem. <laughs> Open that. I might do that off camera, but ooh, there we go. Oh, something. Uh, it's a little wrecking, but very nice. Um, just looking at him, he looks awesome. Let's get this out of the way and get him out, and then I'll, I'll get the camera back on him. I'm trying to keep everything on camera. I admit this is my first Figgy review. This hat. So I'll use that. Pull that out. All right, there we have him, opened and out of his packaging. Sculpting the paintwork with everything on him is looking even better than I anticipated. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll get them all posed up, and I'll see you guys then. All right, um, just playing around with him real quick, and a nice little pose, kind of gunslinging pose. Um, he is awesome. The um, just the amount of detail, and then bringing him into from animated to real life. Really like the way they did it. Um, one thing is is my um, the mold for his little satchel it tends to stay towards the back. Um, I'd like to be on his hip or the other hip, so I might just run that under cold or warm water. But all around, excellent figure. I've been seeing reviews online, and um, everyone seems to say the same thing. But even like look at the paint wash and stuff. Um, but yeah, I won't dwindle too hard or too long. Um, really awesome. <laughs> Honestly, no complaints. But um, next up, we'll get into Hunter. Next up, main man himself, the guy I've been watching week in and week out, Hunter. Um, first figure from their Bad Badge line, which is expected. Um, brand new show. Bear with me. <laughs> I'll try to be gentle. But yeah, this is another one where I have seen some issues with the um, bringing in the uh, Commando clone sculpt from animated to live action. I've seen some criticism. I, for one, think that it looks dang fine. Um, especially the one thing online is the pictures of his face tattoo. I wasn't too jazzed about it. I thought maybe it could have been better, but seeing him in person, I think it looks very nice. Uh, much better than, than I was expecting, actually. On. Get him out. Get everything else out, but just quickly. Oh yeah, he is opened up out of the packaging. Very fine. Got a nice selection of accessories. His helmet, removable of course. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll pose him up and talk a little bit more about him. All right, here we have him, nice and posed up. Um, I do. I have him kneeling down for a reason. Um, these shin pads are actually attached to the thigh piece, and not the knee. Um, that is a criticism I saw online. And with Hunter, I feel like more than anyone, you're going to want to have him kneeling, you know, picking up the dirt and stuff, him and Omega. Um, he is a hunter. He is going to be tracking. But 
it makes it kind of awkward if, if I'm moving this to kind of pose them because of that and that is an issue I saw online um, another thing is uh, this helmet I got kind of squished it looks kind of narrow kind of hard to see on camera um, it is a tight fit on his head so I think I'll be posing him with it off but again I could just put this in some hot water you know shape it to better suit his face but all around I'm very satisfied that head sculpt alone with the bandana in there he's got the little bad batch I'm just it's awesome it's awesome I really do like this figure um, I know the uh, mold for the armor stuff is going to be pretty much the same on crosshair I don't think we'll run into problems too much because crosshair is not going to be kneeling um, he's more like the sniper guy so he'll be standing um, but we're going to check him out right now okay and here we have crosshair one of my personal favorites really like his design again even despite <laughs> what we know happens uh, check out the action videos to the bad batch but let's um let's get them opened up um, box opening knife slices right through the tape now he comes I think with the same amount of accessories just the extra gun and now uh, he actually comes with less than hunter he doesn't have a knife but he fills much more of the box space it's about that the big sniper gun a little bit harder than hunter to get out um, but we got it all right another nice figure much of the same armor but of course he has his own unique flair like that piece of armor. and uh, a nice list of accessories as well but again i'll get him posed and i'll talk a little bit about him. okay here he is um i kind of got him in a neutral pose right now they want to show off that you can fold up his his big sniper rifle put it in the backpack fits very nicely um much of the same stuff with hunter um, pretty much same body, I think, except the extra little flare. The helmet, though, is very nice. The uh, range finder comes up and down. Um, he does have a, a bandolier here, and there's a place to put his pistol. Hunter, I have him right here. Let's, uh, I did want to compare. But um, Hunter does not. Um, so there is, if you're not displaying him holding the uh, pistol, doesn't quite uh, have anywhere to go, which is something I like about Crosshair. Again, I, I really like his design. Um, the helmet, I think, fits like, more snug, <laughs> if you will. I think it looks better shape-wise, the Hunters, which, again, isn't too much a big deal. Um, but, yeah, I really do like the, um, the models for these. I know they're a little bit inaccurate. Uh, the one major gripe is the shin pads, or knee pads, rather. But, overall, I am very satisfied. These are two very good-looking figgies. So, yeah, next up, uh, another clone. Clone Commander, well, the moment we've all been waiting for, at least me. Um, we do have two more figgies to get, um, so <laughs> he's not quite over, but I've been wanting this guy for a while. Uh, he finally came back, I guess, re-release, whatever. It's not an archive like the code, he's still got the nice original packaging. Um, but yeah, I've been tracking this guy down. On eBay, before the re-release, he was like $80 or something ridiculous. Um, but managed to snag them on Big Bad Toy Store. Let's get them open. Again, with these boxes, I find they're a tad easier for me to open and close. I guess just because they're more box shaped. <laughs> you like to be very as gentle as possible. Slide them right on out. His foot is a little posed up. Don't like seeing that too much. Hopefully, that's not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, yes. Just that head sculpt alone. Very cool, soft goods comma right there. Um, and then it comes with the helmet and his two pistols. And here he is, Clone Commander Wolf. Um, very cool figgy. Really like all the detail, the uh, weathering, um, just helmet, everything is chest piece. Of course, soft goods, I'm a sucker for the soft goods. One thing is he is on the old clone body as the double knee or double um, jointed knees and elbows. The elbows, though, don't go much past there. Um, I know Evan, the uh, figure master, you can slice a little bit here and get a little bit more articulation. I think I may do that because um, that is pretty limited. Uh, these clones are definitely an animated uh, <laughs> people. You want to put them in those dynamic poses. Um, 
another thing is his, his helmet is pretty tight around his nose. You can almost tell like there's, there's not a lot of like area for his nose to go. It's kind of snug getting on. I hope no paint gets on. Um, if he'll stay standing. Overall, I, I mean, just aesthetics alone, I, this is a, a figure I needed in my collection, so I was very happy to get. But yeah, just real briefly, um, next up, Dooku. And here we are, second to last one, um, Count Dooku. Another very good looking figure. Um, older figure though, like Wolf. Uh, he wasn't as hard as Wolf to get. Again, soft goods, the likeness of Christopher Lee. Again, just awesome, just look at it. Looks way better in person than it does online. I guess just the face mold in general, like Hunter, look way better. I can already tell this dude looks way better than any of the photos I've seen. It does come with that uh, motion piece to make it look like the blade is swinging, which um, I think is really cool. I don't know if I'll, I'll put that on. I think it might look a little corny or something, but I appreciate the thought because Dooku is top duelist in the, uh, one of the top duelists. The Star Wars universe. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I'll flip the camera for you guys. Already you can tell the uh, the quality look. Two different shades inside, outside. Uh, the likeness. Um, but yeah, I, I do appreciate the thought that they added that piece, um, just to signify how <laughs> how much a BA this guy really is. He gets his own piece to show how good he is at sword fighting. So I'll get him posed up. And we'll review them further. And here we have him. I, I think this might be my favorite one out of the bunch. He was just so easy to pose. I threw him right in this one. Um, almost like an avant-garde type thing. I did bring in Cad Bane since they worked so closely together in the Clone Wars. But really awesome figure. One thing as I was posing, I was thinking about it would be awesome to have a swappable hand. Um, for his left hand, have some Sith Lightning. I think that would have made him a 10 out of 10 piece, um, but alone he is nowhere below 9. The cape, outstanding, it has these nice little, I guess, grooves, I don't know what you'd call that, seams, I guess would be a better word. That just how it falls over the shoulder and allows for like dynamic sweeping pose. I, I just love that figure. I would definitely have some more you know, iconic poses for him. But yeah, very pleased with him. And now last but not least, I'm gonna be moving on to Cody. Cody, uh, I'm gonna open up off camera. So I'll go right to posing with him because I'm gonna be extremely careful with the clamshell. I'm gonna do it as clean as possible. <laughs> so we'll not be distracted. Um, but yeah, and then I, I'll go over him and I'll line them all up. Um, very pleased with Dugu. I think he might be my favorite. And finally, Commander. Cody. I know Evan uh, has this in his review, um, so I'll be really brief. He is on the old clone body, just like Wolf, what I have here. Again, for the comparison, I know these two are boys, but very, very nice figure. One thing is, his helmet is not removable. I know it's just the clone helmet, but it's been really nice to have it removable since he does take it off, not only in Clone Wars, in the films, so that would have been nice to see. Um, but again, I think I really like the weathering of the paint. You can even see scratch marks in there. Very nice. Um, yeah, just him posed up with Wolf. Again, they are like very limited with their posing, which is something that's a uh, big minus to me, especially the arms. It was hard even to just to get to Wolf to hold his helmet, which isn't too cool. I do have a Commander Bly, um, who is the newer clone body, which is much better. But without going on too much of a tangent, I'll, I have them all lined up here. Uh, <laughs> but I'll, I'll get them all lined up. I have a few more things to say, but after that, yeah, that, I guess that's the video. But very nice haul. And here it is, the group shot. <laughs> this just makes me smile. Um, fantastic lineup. I think it was cool that I kind of got pairs, like the Bad Batch pair, the clone pair, Bad Guys pair. Um, I didn't mean to do that. That's just how it worked out. I do want to say two more things about just um, Cad Bane and Crosshair. Cad Bane, I just, he's so skinny. Um, and that's exactly how it should be. You can see those eyes too, those nose Doros eyes. Um, absolutely love this character. The way they brought him from animated to real life. Fantastic. I just want to reinforce how cool he is. I don't think I spoke enough about it. And then again, cool factor. 
crosshair. Check out this sculpt. So you can see it's just scarring there and just, oh, wow. You can still tell he's a clone, but he looks so different. It's just the way, again, like he has never been portrayed in live action. None of these guys have these three. Um, and they just look so, so good. Yeah. Um, so if you want to see more videos like this, give this a like. I know Evan has some more. You can check those out. He has Commander Cody and, and Six Scale, which is absolutely cool. Definitely check that one out. And yeah, thanks for watching. This has been my Figgy Hole. Thank you.